Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this interesting optimization problem. We are asked to maximize the area of an isosceles triangle whose perimeter is 9 cm. So if you are new here consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to wish me well because today is my birthday. Let's get started. Um, first of all, I would like to sketch this isosceles triangle. Remember, the opposite sides are equal in length. So something like this. Remember that opposite sides are equal. So let me call this E and call this E as well because the two sides are equal. To find the area of a triangle, we need the base and the height. So let us assume that this is the height. I will not call it h rather y then remember that this vertical line will divide the base into two equal parts so let this be x and this be x all together we have two x's but before we continue what does it mean to maximize or minimize an area it means that we should play with the side lines we can adjust expand do whatever such that it will have the maximum or the minimum area provided the perimeter remain the same so we are going to adjust this or this or so ever we can but we have to ensure that the perimeter remain the same all right so what will be the area of a triangle area okay let me start with the perimeter because it is given already perimeter p is equal to the sum of all the side lengths a plus a plus x plus x making 2a plus 2x right so 2a plus 2x which is already given from the question as what 9 cm okay let me just remove the unit um let's divide every single term here by 2 such that a plus x is equal to 9 divided by 2 and um, we can make a the subject here so a is equal to 9 divided by 2 minus x this is a very important equation let me box it here then let's go back to the area area is equal to what half multiplied by the base multiplied by the height the base is x plus x, which is 2x, and the height is this one, which is y. So I would like to find the value of y first. What is y? Um, if you observe, this is a right angle triangle, right? Which we have the hypotenuse here, we have the other two sides. So to find y, we can apply Pythagoras rule, which stated that. Uh, this vertical length, which is y, is equal to the square root of a squared minus x squared. So it will be the square root of a squared minus x squared. All right. Uh, what else again? But we have a here. We can express everything in terms of x because we have the value of a as 9 divided by 2 minus x. Therefore, the height will be equal to the square root of 9 divided by 2, which is a, a minus x, all squared, then minus x, also squared. Let me expand this. This will be the first term squared. 9 squared is 81. Divide by 2 squared is 4. This is first term squared. Then 2 times this, times this. 2 will cancel to we only have negative 9x. Then second term squared will give us x squared. We have another x squared here. All of this under square root. This will cancel this. So finally, all we have as the value of y is equal to the square root of e to 1 minus, uh, divided by 4 minus 9x. Okay, let's plug everything back here because the area is equal to half multiplied by the base which is 2x multiplied by the height which is the square root of each one divided by 4 minus 9x 
So this is our area where two will cancel two. Area finally equal to x multiplied by the square root of e to one divided by four minus nine x. Remember that this is an optimization problem. To find a critical point, we have to differentiate e with respect to x. So let's do it here. We want to find a prime. And since we have two functions, we are going to apply product rule. Let me see if I have enough space there. We keep the first term constant, which is x. Then we differentiate this. So let me start differentiating this. The derivative of this will be the derivative of the inner function, which is going to just give us negative 9. Then we divide by 2 multiplied by the whole everything. So that negative 9 multiplied by x will give us negative 9x divide by 2 multiply by everything inside e to 1 divide by 4 minus 9x i don't think we have enough space then plus this time around we differentiate this we keep this one constant as you differentiate this you have one times this so we only have that e to 1 divide by 4 minus 9x i hope you can read everything there and remember that to find a critical point, we have to set this first derivative to be equal to 0. So at a prime equal to 0, everything here should be equal to 0. We have negative 9x divided by 2 multiplied by square root of e to 1 divided by 4 minus 9x. Then plus the other one, which is square root of e to 1 divided by 4 minus 9x, everything equal to 0. All right. This is not 12. To clear the fraction, we can multiply every single term by the whole of this. That is 2 times square root of e to 1 divided by 4 minus that one. If we do that, it will cancel the whole of this fraction, leaving negative 9x here plus this time this the square root will cancel but we still have two outside right so two multiplied by e to one divided by four minus nine x oh it will cancel the square root this is equal to zero let's expand two will go into four exactly two times so we have negative nine x um plus e to 1 divided by 2 then this is going to give us 18x equals 0 negative 18x and again i don't want to see this so I, we can multiply every single term by 2 again we have let me draw a straight line this is negative 18x plus e to 1 this is going to give us negative 36, right? X equals 0. So we have to clear the fraction. Um, negative 18X, negative 36X, I think it will going to give us negative 54X. Negative 54X. And we can take this one to the other side and it becomes negative 81. All right, since we are looking for X, Let's divide m on both sides by negative 54. So it implies that x is equal to 81 divided by 54 because negatives will cancel. So 9 can go into 81 exactly 9 times. And 9 can go in here exactly 6 times. And I think we can still reduce this. 3 into 9 is 3. 3 into 6 is 2. All right, so we have obtained the value of x. What will be the value of y? y will be the square root of a to 1 divided by 4. a to 1 divided by 4. The minus 9 multiplied by x, but x is 3 divided by 2. 9 times 3 is 27. So we have y to be equal to the square root of a to 1 divided by 4 minus 27 divided by 2. 
if you multiply 27 by 2 you are going to get 54 so e to 1 minus 54 is 27 again so this is all this will give us um, square root of 27 divided by 4 i know that 9 times 3 is 27 square root of 9 is 3 so this is equal to 3 root 3 divided by 2 because square root of 4 is 2 so the whole of this will be y y is equal to 3 root 3 divided by 2 all right so now we can plug y and x to find the area so area remember is half base base is x plus x that is 2x what is x 2 of this 2 of 3 divided by 2 so this is the base because i told you x plus x that is 2x right and this is x 2 of this will give us the base times the height which is 3 root 3 divided by 2 um this 2 will cancel this 2 3 times 3 is 9 so we have 9 root 3 divided by 2 times 2 is 4 so this is the area uh unit is what centimeter squared so that area the maximum area we could obtain by maximizing this triangle right here will be 9 root 3 divided by 4 cm squared but let me show you a shortcut way to do that if you have two or more isosceles triangles of equal perimeters the one with the greatest area is the one that has all the sides equal that means when you have an equilateral triangle that has this perimeter so if that is the case we know the formula for finding the area of an equilateral triangle we know that the area of an equilateral triangle is s squared or 30 divided by 4. what is s s is just the side length one of the sides so if we are considering an equilateral triangle an equilateral triangle remember it has three sides of equal lengths so we can take the perimeter and divide by 30 and that will give us a single side length so 9 divided by 30 is 30 right so this will be 3 squared root 30 divided by 4 you can see that 3 squared is 9 root 30 divided by 4 cm squared are they not exactly the same they are Thank you for watching and do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye